Welcome back. You're still watching the Daily Debate and I'm honored to be having with me over the program for tonight uh, Dr. Ala Khalifa, the international tourism and uh, marketing as well as the investment expert. Thank you very much once again Thank for you. being with us uh, tonight. I will be uh, biased for the rest of the episode. How do you see the role of the Egyptian media outlets in promoting tourism? Here we are speaking about it. Yes. So uh, this is, and I have to salute uh, uh, our, uh, our your TV International, our Nile TV International, for yes. the very vital uh, role in promoting and and, reach, and putting out ideas, you know, to promote uh, tourism and and uh, have a clyde scope over uh, various projects in Egypt, whether it's investment, whether it's tourism, whether it's a, it's a, it's environmental, a lot of different projects, and uh, you have no idea how 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 you are. Yes. Uh, supporting. And we can see work yes. from uh, Nile TV International Absolutely. to be promoting tourism. Absolutely. And, it's, uh, and, and the director of the channel uh, yes. here is, is, doing, um, Hussain, yes. Hussain is yes. doing a is doing fantastic work. Yes. Um, she really has a, an amazing dream team. Um, I'm not saying this because um, uh, perhaps uh, I, I will tell you something that uh, be, perhaps it will come as a surprise for you. I always go in various interviews in, in different channels and but most of the time when it comes specifically from my TV international I never say no mm -hmm. because because I know that I'm, that, I, that I'm that I'm that I'll be interviewed you know with a with a very professional mm -hmm. team uh, we will speak about very valid projects and very valid topics uh, uh, the role that you are playing in getting the the message the media message to the expats, to the foreigners, and to the rest of the world, uh, voicing out Egypt to the rest of the world, discussing different topics, is amazing because not only be, uh, people who live in Egypt and, 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 and non-Arabic speaking want to hear, um, they, of course they want to hear news about their own country, but also they want to hear local news. Mm. And the only way to get them the local news is to listen to Nile TV International. Mm. And understand I, the culture. And, and, I, and I have to tell you that uh, you, you putting focus and uh, spotlight into into various topics especially that helps out the economy uh, and the progress that we are seeing uh, you have been doing a vital role in uh, in the last two decades and i uh, and i salute uh, Nile tv international for that how can we be maximizing the benefits uh, from the egyptian media outlets and more specifically Nile tv international uh, to be boosting the tourism sector um, I would say, uh, uh, of course, w w what we are, are having as these anchor news uh, that we are presenting all the time and, and also the interviews and, and the various um, episodes, um, it, it adds up to the, uh, uh, to the message, the media message that the channel is giving. But also I would, I would uh, suggest that, that it's a m more engagement within, uh, for example, we're talking about Ras al Hikmah, we're yes. talking about North Coast, we're talking about um, the new museum, for example, or we're talking about. So going into these areas and, and getting live shots and, and engaging with people. I would people love to go to Ras al Hikmah. And, and uh, then we go together. Yeah, we go together. Then we go together and, <laughs> yeah. and see we have our. the same interview there. Absolutely. We yeah. go together and we meet our, our uh, uh, um, uh, beloved uh, brothers, uh, uh, the Emiratis, yes. um, uh, investors over there, and members of the government. And let me tell you something in, in, in this regard which uh, an incident that made me so thrilled, uh, so, uh, so happy and engaged and seeing how serious that project is and perhaps, perhaps that's, I'm, I'm saying this for the first time, I was um, uh, uh, talking to a, a group of investors in the, in the uh, Red Sea uh, about one big investment project which needed uh, some contribution and, and, and perhaps injection of various investment bodies. And uh, I, I spoke to some of the, of the high-level investors in, in, in the United Arab Emirates lately. That was just uh, like almost a month ago. Yes. And, uh, and the answer that I had is like, I'm sorry, Dr. Ala, we will have to put this on hold because we are focused now on Ras al-Hikma. Mm. So, so the there is a, yeah, exactly. Mm. So when I heard this, y y you guys are focused on Ras al-Hikma, this is fantastic. Mm. That means that it's, it's, it's a mandate, it's a, uh, it is a, a, 
everyone feeling that it's his duty to find a contribution, a valid contribution in the Ras al Hikmah project. This showed me how serious you know, uh, uh, the project is going to be and it showed me how, how wonderful the project is going to be because when you get all of those people, big companies such as these investment companies, these companies that have done a mega billion dollar uh, investment before, when you see them mm. focusing their entire uh, uh, attention to Ras al Hikmah, that means Ras al Hikmah is how going serious to be. It is. it is extremely serious. I was mm. so thrilled. It's like, good luck. I'm happy, and I, I would love to see the project, you know, coming. But when they tell you that they are focusing at this year totally on Ras al Hikmah, this is good news. That means that not only that they injected you know, uh, all of these investment, but also they want to see something happening on the ground. Within a year or two years, you're going to see things happening. You're going to see uh, a lot of steering into the economy mm -hmm. happening. So uh, this is why thanks to United Arab Emirates for taking this seriously, for uh, um, helping out uh, our economy, for building such a great community that will boost uh, tourism all year around, that will help the North Coast, that will help great part of the Egyptian economy, will help the industries and there is so this is not the only sector but, but there are so many sectors that are contributing um, and and helping our economy with it it's it's such amazing this kind of steering and and i and i and i all what i can say is is i wish them all the best and all the best of luck and uh, i give them my full uh, support on the other hand we have seen uh, on the larger scope the initiative by the egyptian government is not just about ras al hikma or uh, the new alamein city for example but it's just more into tourism in general an initiative for 50 billion Egyptian pounds to be boosting the tourism sector. Yes. How do you think this strategy will be working over the upcoming years, what it will be focusing on? So one of the things that we need in order to, to bring the number of tourism, our tourists into the country to 30 million is that we need to double up the accommodation uh, uh, um, uh, capacity in Egypt. So to have that capacity uh, you need to double it up. Today uh, with the capacity is 210,000 rooms we need to make them at least 450,000 rooms. Mm. So the only way to do two things, either to encourage the current ones, the current owner of, of hotels and, 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 uh, and various accommodation places, in order to build more uh, or to renovate what they have in order to raise the quality. And, and hence come to the support of the Egyptian government putting out 50 billion Egyptian pounds at an interest rate of only 11%. Mm. Currently the interest rate is, you, 27 percent or two. Else. Yes. Mm. And when you have a very special interest rate at, at 11 percent, that means the rest of the interest rate is paid by the government. Mm. This is such a great booster to the process of building, whether it's building, renovating, uh, renewing, uh, reinvestment into into exact same thing of, of building a, a tourism establishment mm -hmm. and thanks to the Egyptian government for th thinking this how and and this is not the, uh, a new one it's actually it's an old initiative that has been renewed every year mm -hmm. and kept every year and so many investors in Egypt I know personally have utilized from this uh, mm -hmm. kind of initiative and it's supported by the uh, National Bank and uh, by the Central Bank of Egypt and it's an initiative by the government uh, and, and I, I believe that this initiative will uh, boost at least 20 to 30 percent increase in the capacity of our accommodation uh, properties. On the other hand, how do you see the importance of uh, the cooperation between the private and the public sectors here in Egypt to be having more achievements and more development in tourism? Uh, the, the private sector plays a very vital role. Without the private sector, there would be no tourism. Mm. Uh, let's be honest. I mean, it's a, tourism is, a, is, a, is, a, is an industry that boosts at least 40, 50 ca other kind of industries. Yes. And as a supplier, as a subcontractor, in every way possible, whether it's a hotel, it's a travel company, it's a tourism uh, entity, it's a, it's, a, it's a cultural area, it's an adventure, anything. So without having mm. the private sector in tourism, there is no tourism. So the, the, the more we care about the private sector, the more we foster all of these different uh, collaborative uh, agreements between both uh, 
uh, private sector or public sector, the more we engage the private sector, the more investment it is. Mm -hmm. The more money coming into the tourism. Look at the, look at the top investors in Egypt in tourism, private sector. Mm -hmm. All of them. All of them. Yes. Name anyone. There is no uh, uh, public sector. All of them private sector. Is this a better strategy to be giving more responsibility for the private sector to be boosting the It is the, the rule of a, a private sector. In any country, private sector is 99.9% .9 of tourism, mm. right? It's, it's the, the rule. Uh, it, it, uh, and the public sector, yes, they still have a little bit of a little chunk in the, in, in the tourism industry, especially when it comes to uh, providing areas of facilities or running airports or management of airports and, and you know, airspace and all of that. But still, private sector is the biggest invest, investment. And, and look what's happening in the North Coast right now. Look what's happening in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Ras al Hikma or in the areas around and, and all of these areas, Marasis and, and Al Alameen and all of that. You will find out that the rule of the private sector is nearly getting the majority of all the investment assets uh, in there. Thanks to our uh, own local private uh, 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 investors, thanks to the tourism companies in Egypt, thanks to uh, uh, all those who have had the courage to support the country within the time of crisis, I really salute them. Uh, private sector is a very, very vital role in boosting tourism. The more the, go the government gives support to the private sector, the more the private sector will give support to the uh, tourism industry. On the other hand, the Egypt is trying to be granting more golden licenses uh, to the potential investors. We have seen about 25 golden licenses in 2023, and we are aiming to be reaching 50 golden licenses by, 20, by the end of 2024. I need, I need to have those as to be 50,000. <laughs> yeah. so, so how do you see the so importance of the golden licenses itself? A, a, a golden license is a, is a, is a way to faci it's a facility. It's yes. to facilitate... Uh, uh, procedures and, and procedures that may take a year or take few months can be done in a few weeks. This is a leap, in my opinion, to the encourages not only tourism but investment. Mm. Investment is always connected to tourism. Yes. And it, and it is that leap. It's important that the government said, "Hey, you are serious investor. Come, I'll give you all the support. I'll give you." whatever you need and this is a message to the rest of the world it's a message for anyone who would like to come and invest in egypt egypt is still the country that that uh, can 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 actually bring you a huge investment because it, it, it has potentials and uh, right now the government is giving this kind of golden uh, you know visa i would yes. say the golden uh, visa to get into uh, industry or to get into tourism or to get into these investment projects and uh, I, I, I salute the, uh, our government for this but I still wish that 50 is, is a very small number we need to make it more and more and we need more. thousands of it but uh, what are the incentives that you think should be given to the potential investors I think uh, you see, you have to understand something about investment. Investment, uh, as much as it is, it, it's whomever goes into, there's no gain without pain, right? So you can't, uh, an investor normally would know where to put his money and he would need to find like a, a clear pathway, clear passage. You know, how the cycle, this circular economy of his money is going to happen, right? So the more assurances that we give to the investor that his money is safe, that his earnings are safe, that, that he will be able to reinvest into the country again, and if he, if he needs to pull out, he can. If he needs to, to exit, he can. All of these uh, messages are giving assurances to the investors that this is the right place uh, to invest in. Uh, facility in terms of uh, allocations, uh, accommodation, uh, labor, uh, all of these things also help out investors ease up the pressure uh, on them. In my opinion, um, I, I think we are um, uh, eradicating, and, and let me stress on that, we are, right now we are eradicating a bureaucracy in the, in, the, in the process. Yes. We are trying as much as we can to make things smoother, clearer for the investors so they know a very much clear bass secured by a government who seriously want to have those investors coming in and putting the money into Egyptian economy 
one more time. Yes, hopefully we can be doing that. As you mentioned, Absolutely. thousands more thousands in the upcoming wish, year. Yes. Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbi. Yes, uh, Dr. Ala Khalifa, the international tourism, marketing and investment expert. Thank you Thank very you. much for being Thank with us you. tonight. All the best. Anytime. And this brings us to the end of the daily debate for tonight. Thank you for watching and goodbye.